Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Let Gen Pharmacy. Yes, in this video, let's discuss about the which drugs are safe during pregnancy and how many drugs are contraindicated during pregnancy. Hmm. Which drugs you cannot give at that time. If you give means which type of the drugs are safe for that lady. Hmm. Some drugs are there, they are totally contraindicated. Some drugs are they are totally safe. Now see, there are five categories are there. One is category A, B, C, D and category X. A, category A and category B. We can safely give without any hesitation. Means doctors will give safely. But C and D, there we have to put a full stop. And for X, we have to put a totally full stop. Schedule X drugs for pregnancy, they are totally full stop drugs. Are you getting what I am telling? Yeah. Now first discuss about how many drugs are contraindicated. Why they are contraindicated? Okay. Why many drugs are contraindicated? See the major problem behind this uh, contraindication is uh, means banned drugs is uh, some of the drugs uh, they will easily pass through the placenta. You are observing here the tube-like structure. What is this? Uh, it is the placenta. One membrane is there. That membrane it is the placenta. The main function of that membrane is uh, what it will do, it will prevent the, it will prevent the direct entry of a micronutrients, so direct entry of the blood into the fetal, means that is the embryo. Hmm. There is a one tube like structure you are observing on the board, tube like structure means it looks like a small intestine, from that only it is the umbilical cord we are calling. From that umbilical cord, all the nutrients, all the blood get passed through the, into the uh, baby. Means not baby, into the fetal. Clear? This is very important you have to understand. By passing all the micronutrients, what happens? Some drugs, they also pass through this. Actually, the blood should not pass, the drug should not pass. But some what they will do? They will pass into this placenta and they go across the umbilical cord and they may damage the fetal development okay some fetals can cause death by these uh, contraindicated medi medi medicines or drugs so we have studied those in the animals and some of the patients we have studied that these drugs in schedule x drugs they have shown many dis abnormalities in the human clear are you getting so for that is the major reason here we are not giving Schedule X drug, Schedule C and Schedule D, especially where in the pregnant ladies and also in the lactation women. Are you getting what I am telling? Now next, uh, which drugs are safe during pregnancy? Okay, that we will discuss here. Before going to that topic, first you understand that what is this Schedule A, Schedule B, Schedule C, Schedule D and Schedule X. See, clearly mentioned that uh, in Schedule A and Schedule B, the drugs which are given for the pregnant lady and the lactation mother, okay, they are safe. Okay. And here in schedule C, what happens? So the drugs. Okay. Before giving to the patient, we are checking the drugs in the animals. So animal studies have showed that there is some danger in some fetal dis abnormalities in the animal. But there is unknown fact in the mother, means any uh, human. Now schedule D, schedule D what it says means uh, here in schedule D there it has so shown some of the fetal dis abnormalities in both the uh, animal and in the human. So, but what we are uh, preferring here means uh, if the use or the benefits is more than the risk then we are giving this uh, medicine examples i will tell you later on which medicines are schedule a b c d and x and schedule x these drugs are totally contraindicated we cannot do, give them at all because they are greater risk than their benefits to the mother so these schedule x drug they are totally contraindicated the best example here is warfarin is one example and some of the tetracycline antibiotics like doxycycline that also these also prevented where in the pregnancy and the lactation now some of the example for schedule A drugs, so see in schedule A drugs, so you will get 
some of the antibiotics and some of the antihistamines like antihistamines uh, safe for use is a chlorpheniramine chlorpheniramine or we are giving some of the paracetamol so they are also comes under the schedule a and the safe drugs now here are some of the examples for schedule a safe drugs that is saline nasal spray so means if the lady is suffering from means is that if that patient is suffering from some of the decongest problem okay congestion problem then we can supply some of the decongestants like uh, nasal sprays uh, saline nasal sprays uh, oxamethoxazoline nasal sprays uh, and if she is uh, suffering from the fever or back pain any pain then we can give the paracetamol and for uh, antihistamine for uh, uh, sneezing or cold we can use chlorpheniramine hmm these are the basic tablets we will supply but according on the prescription of the doctor it's very essential now next uh, let's discuss about the schedule b drugs patient also prescribes some of the schedule b drugs on the basis of the patient like metronidazole is an antibiotic sorry anti azole means antifungal antibiotic also we can call and for diarrhea we are giving this in the pregnant lady for better we can give ors and cephalosporins like cefadoxamine or uh, some of the uh, cefixim cefaroxim proxylate that we are giving metformin to control the sugar ibuprofen it is the nsaid okay to treat the pain we are giving this uh, okay and the insulin if the sugar level is high then we can giving insulin safely okay but don't you don't prescribe prescribe doctor will prescribe next uh, let's discuss about some of the schedule c and d drugs and these drugs are uh, means unsafe okay why these drugs are unsafe means uh, because in animal and human studies they have shown some of the uh, dis abnormalities but although if there is a greater evidence of results uh, means if there is a greater effects greater uh, therapeutic uses than the side effects then we are giving this okay what if the effects are greater than the side effects then we are giving the schedule c and d drugs for an example sulfamethoxazole or tetracyclines see here what happens if the infection is severe then we are giving this type of the antibiotics next one third is a fluoroquinolones fluoroquinolones like norfloxacin or some of the anti malarial drugs like chlor um, chloroquine drugs these all are the fluoro fluoroquinolones drugs then phenytoin if your pids epilepsy okay to prevent we are giving this in the pregnant ladies then gabapentin neuropathic pain levetiracetam okay that in uh, seizures epilepsy we are giving this uh, to control that one okay if the side effects are less than the risk means then we are prescribing this uh, otherwise uh, we are keeping aside now next uh, our last uh, concept of drugs uh, those are schedule x drugs uh, those are totally contraindicated totally contraindicated actually tetracycline it is not a schedule x drug it is a schedule c or schedule t now some of the schedule x drugs are now these are schedule x drugs example tramadol warfarin riba ribavirin see this tramadol it is the morphine drug means painkiller drug we are never ever going to prescribe in the pregnancy and warfarin it is the anticoagulant drug ribavirin it is also Uh, anticoagulant here actually what these will do these will leads to dangerous uh, abnormalities fetal abnormalities uh, than the uh, therapeutic uses so we are banned these drugs under schedule x okay we kept these under schedule x so thank you